Hi, I'm Chachi, the worship director at Grace Point Church. It is an honor to be here doing the Names of God devotionals with you. And today's name is Gaba, which is that God is transcendent. Isaiah 55, eight through nine says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts. The reason we can't fully understand God is because he's transcendent. He's bigger than what we can understand. By vastness of his very nature, God is incomprehensible. If God were finite enough to be fully understood, he'd lack the breadth of power to sustain the universe. And while all human knowledge can be documented, God's knowledge and thoughts can never be exhaustively recorded or measured. If God's expansive knowledge could be captured, cataloged, and learned by others, then his wisdom would have limits. Just as sparks leap upward from a fire and fly out of reach, so God's wisdom, power, and knowledge soar far above humanity's ability to grasp and understand them. Because of our limited scope of vision, it's easy for us to take God to task, to criticize what we see him doing, to complain about his lack of action, and to sometimes wonder if he's at work. Because of God's transcendence, however, he lives outside of time and space. He sees the future, and the past at the exact same time. And the entire line of humanity lies before him like a panoramic photograph. He comprehends it all at once. Is God uncaring because he doesn't act? No. Because of his transcendence, he sees the outcome of every scenario and can select the best course of action. Is God mean-spirited because he doesn't relieve our suffering? No. Because of his ability to see the future, he knows how today's events shape tomorrow. How does God's transcendence affect our view of God and our worship of him? To put it simply, we don't worship God because we have the human ability to raise him above ourselves. We worship God because he is, by his very nature, above us. How would you describe the transcendence of God to a child? <laughs>